what's up and welcome back to rumor has it official let's get straight into talking all about 90 day fiance the other way this is season three episode two and the title of this episode is testing trust in this video we'll be talking all about submit and jenny but before we get started my besties do your girl a big favor give this video a big thumbs up share subscribe plus hit that bell so you will be notified on all future uploads coming out this week and also i do have my handy dandy phone here i'm going to read from my notes that way i can stay on topic and discuss everything that i want to talk about in regards to these two in this episode so let's just go ahead and get straight into it in this episode they basically basically pick back up where jenny is fussing submit out she's in his face she gets mad she storms out throws something i don't know if it was a chair throws that she goes to her room and claims that she's about to start packing to go home now submit tells her to calm down and to sit down he follows her into the room tells her to calm down sit down uh and jenny's telling him she's calm but obviously she's not I think probably the best thing to have done in that situation is just give her some time to calm down now jenny is freaking out because her visa extension it was denied and submit tells her that he expects her to behave like a calm person would now I feel like Summit is so full of it though. He's so full of it and he needs to be completely honest with Jenny about what his true intentions are with this woman because this is just ridiculous. Let her know that you don't plan on marrying her. Just let her know that. Now, I feel like if he tells her that he doesn't want to marry her, she will be upset at first, but uh, knowing Jenny, she'll end up settling for it and still sticking by his side. I really feel like at this point, she probably probably feels like she has invested so much and doesn't want to start from scratch. So she's just probably just going to go with along with the flow. They plan to go to Nepal. I believe that was how they pronounced it. But because of the pandemic, they can't. So because of everything that's going on, they want to go to Nepal, stay there for a while, then come back. And then she could reapply for the visa extension. But because I think that Nepal isn't, isn't allowing people to come in, that's not an option. Samit tells Jenny that he will pay for her flight to go back home and to come back. Now, the first thing I was thinking was, when did Samit get a job? When, when did he get a job to be able to pay for her flight to go back to America? And then once, I think six months pass, come back to india summit is aware that he has made a lot of promises to jenny now he claims he wants to be with jenny but sometimes for a person's own selfish reasons you know they'll just keep you around but not want to marry you yeah they enjoy your company they enjoy having a partner they enjoy playing house but when it comes to the commitment part getting married they're not they're not with it as i was watching this episode i was thinking to myself i don't know what game jenny and submit are playing but both of these two are liars they lie they lie because it started off with she went on the website seeing that her visa extension was denied now it's the fact that she went up there and she applied again and so quickly it came back and said that it was a clerical error. They lie. So in another scene with these two, they go to see this lawyer and the lawyer says that Jenny can drop her American citizenship. That would be the only other option. That way she can stay in India. Jenny says no, because she would lose her benefits. She adds that if Samit is not even ready to marry her, why should she be willing to easily just drop her American citizenship. Now, the lawyer ends up giving them one more option and says that Jenny would have to apply for a missionary visa. And I forgot what type of society Summit said this was, but that would be the only way that she can stay and be with him. Jenny says that she's not a religious person. So being that she's not a religious person, it would be something that she would have to seriously consider. But I think that she's going to go that route because when they show like little snippets of episode three, she has bees, she's dressed in the attire and uh, two women are teaching her, showing her the ropes. So I just believe that Jenny is desperate at this point. I feel like she knows that her ultimate goal is to marry Samit. 
or she wants to marry him. So why, tell me why again, is she the one going through all these hoops and loops like as if her moving from America and moving to India wasn't enough. As if her using her benefits to make sure that they have a roof over their head and food to eat. As if those things weren't enough and now you're willing to, you're not a religious person, but you're willing to apply for this missionary visa just so that you can stay, just so that he can continue being comfortable, not giving you a desire of yours. I think it's time for Jenny to go ahead and pack up and go home, go home because he is not going to marry you. The reason that he is saying that he can't marry her is based on his parents. That is what he's using. So how long, how many extensions do you think that you'll be able to go through just to stay there with a man who is not willing to meet you halfway and to show you that your relationship is important to him, that he does in fact want to marry you, like there's a lot of game plan. And like I said, these two, I think really honestly and truthfully, they might both be comfortable with just being how they are and not getting married. And they are using TLC for the check to stay afloat. Because like I said, is Submit working? She's using her benefits. So... I feel like right now, you know, these two can't be trusted. They lie and they are just selling us a story. They're just selling us a story to continue to get checks. And it's just, it's very irritating. So I'm very curious to know what you all thought about Jenny and Samit in this episode of 90 Day Fiance The Other Way. This is season three, episode two. And the title of this episode again was Testing Trust. I'm very curious to know your thoughts all about Jenny and Samit in that comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads coming out from this channel. As always, I appreciate your patience, love, and support. And I will see all of you wonderful besties in the next video. Peace.